Welcome back everyone, Hardy Man here, back for some more modded banished. So get everyone moving around again and Yeah, so we're gonna need to try to get a trading post up and running. Now let's see here, was it this that the trading post is under? Yes it is. Okay, so we are gonna need Yeah, we're gonna need to cut down some trees. If we wanna get that up and running this episode, we're probably gonna need to chop down some trees. Uh, do I want it? I could put it down here. At the edge of our, hopefully, you know, future residential area. But I think I'm going to probably put it... Let's see here. What is going to be, like, our prime area to hold stuff? Probably down here. Actually. Actually, it's, like, going to take up the entire river if I put it right there. Uh, can't really do it right there. Hmm. And if I put it all the way down there, that's kind of far away. But it's like perfect right there. Uh, and I guess let's, let's put it up here. This, this area up here is fairly good for it. Right there, maybe? Yeah, that seems pretty good. Let's go right there. We'll have it going. We'll put up the uh, dirt road from that down to there. You're going to need to put on the four extra villagers to, to get that built. Oh, all of them. They're bringing all the stuff. All those laborers. Uh, so that's basically all of our wood supply gone. So... While y'all are in the uh, building spirit, let's go chop down some stuff. Uh, let's go about to right there, maybe. We'll go right there, and we'll chop down all of this as well. Let's see, how much did we get out of that? A thousand potatoes. It's pretty good. Let's go ahead and rotate that to soybeans for next time, I guess. Almost all the logs. Yeah, we're probably going to need to... Maybe get a third one going? If it seems like we're not able to, to maintain our firewood. I'd like to have it at the limit. What was it? 400? I'd like to keep it around there. Even during the winter. That's whenever I know I, I am producing enough wood. So we're probably going to have to go for a third like cluster although probably not even the cluster we probably just go for the, the forest lodge uh... see while y'all are at it let's just go ahead and get all the stone as well get those little bits as well so that should be enough to build it yep and we have tons of excess right now go Almost there, and we have one up and running. Good, good, good. Let's see, trader, get like one on there. Put those back on labor duty. Oh, they get the road built. Yeah, they got the road built. Okay. So we are probably. Let's see, what can we actually trade? What do we have an excess of? I mean, herbs, I guess. I can put those guys back out there and, and get them back up. Oh, wait. Desired. Oh, yeah. At, at the inventory. Yes. Yes. Do that. Um, and we'll go and put the them back on herbalist duty. Where's that at? There they are. Oh, really? We can only do one. Yeah, I only need herbs right now. So, at your pace, guy. At your pace. Go for it. So we'll bring those there. Uh, firewood is kind of, I remember it being a, a fairly, you know, good commodity to have. Although we're, we're going to be uh, just depleting our, our log supply once more if I, I bring some over here. Let's see, are we, we have a lot of wool still, right? 450. Yep. Yep. 
Leather. That's just leather. How much leather do we have, actually? Four leather. 64. So we have almost 300 leather. But right now we're just going for the wool. Hmm. And I mean, we're doing a pretty good job of just having wool. Because we have lots of wool to spare. So I think we're probably going to go for... Maybe... Let's just go for a hundred wool coats here as well if I know this tailor he will work night and day to try to get that back up to the 75 that's been at for whoever knows how long it's been at that so there we go that's probably gonna be a, a fairly you know good command to have uh, let's see anything else that we can put there that's basically all of our stuff. I want to keep the tools where they're at because we still have a, you know, iffy amount of iron. Um, let's go for 50 pieces of firewood right now. Oh, what has changed? Oh, we got some soybeans finally. Okay. I was like, what changed about this? Because something happened and I was like, what? So apparently we just got some soybeans in. Oh, yep, they're harvesting it right now. Let's see. Will the soybeans beat the potatoes? Let's see there. Yeah, they're picking it kind of early. That's pretty good. Oh, I mean, there's still a lot left. Maybe the amount of potatoes. Although, you have to, like, say that this had a, like, full time. I think we did it... Are oh, they started planting them in like late spring, maybe? So this one definitely had a lot more time. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna have possibly 1,500 soybeans. It's pretty good. Oh, lots of people dying of old age. It's not the best thing to see, but luckily we have a an excess population. So let's see. Oh, yeah, the laborer. I was like, why didn't he get replaced? Because he's a laborer. Okay, so that's 1,500 soybeans. It's pretty good. Uh, looks like our food has stopped falling around 2,500. So that's okay. We're probably going to need to try to get another farm going up here to try to get that back increasing again, which I guess I can go ahead and do right now while it's winter now what was the size of this one hope we got a trading guy Let's see 15 by 22 let's do the same thing over here so 15 by 22 there we go okay so let's go over here talk to the trader oh don't want to do that. Don't want to put a crop field right in my trading post. So what do you have, sir? You got crude tools and firewood. And he will take my herbs. Also my wool coats. Hmm. I, I kind of want to get your firewood from you. So... 100 herbs for 100 firewood. Sounds pretty good. Do we want to have a whole bunch of crude tools? Because I can make that happen. I mean, it would it would definitely help our blacksmith out. And it would help our iron out. Oh, hold on one second, guys. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, let's see, what we're doing? Alright, trader. Well, I guess we should probably hold off on that. Um, hmm. I guess the wool... Oh, I, and I need to go do that, too. Is that... Where's that? Okay. So, I guess the wool coats could probably fund that. It needs to be 200. What would that be? It's like... 13? No. Is it 14 be enough? Overpaying by 10. Uh, I guess I can get... Like... Two more pieces of firewood from you. 
Anything else I could do to offset that? Uh, if I give them one more of those, it'd be 17. Yeah. Well, I guess I could just do that. And then I can get... See, it was already at two, right? So, nine? Oh, no. Oh, it, that's four. That's right. Five and six. Okay. So, we're overpaying by one. But we're getting a lot of tools and a lot of firewood. So, let's trade with them. Say orders. What do you have? I will take iron if you bring it. I'll take logs if you bring them. And uh, yeah. Every visit, if you bring that, I will be very happy. So, thank you very much. And let's get back to this. Okay, so we should have a ton of tools now. I mean, our, our blacksmith will have a lot of free time uh, after that. Uh, although our tailor's going to get back on it to get that back up. Uh, I guess I can go and put the other herbalist on there to help get a stockpile of herbs back up as well. Wow, they've already went through all that uh, firewood. Well, I mean, they they are very, very crazy people. Let's do soybeans, potatoes, and get a nice road around that. There we go. So what do we want to put right here? Do we want to destroy this road and maybe like put another like stockpile out here? Because that's basically wasted space right there. Because we could probably put a stockpile. A larger stockpile, like right there. Um, let's see what other type of stockpile do we have? What's this? Extra large storage building that must be built on a slope. Hmm. I mean, it, it is pretty large. Yeah, it does like add a significant amount of like storage space. But slopes are stuff that we do not have that much of. Because this is the plains map, so. Slopes are, are not very common. Uh, let's see, what else can we do? Charles Chapel, that is what we wanted to build over here. But we still got all that stuff, so. We're going to have to hold on for at least a little bit longer. Let's get that road built. I added one builder. It'll probably take him, you know, a couple of years. But hopefully, they're able to get it done. I mean, they're still using it, even though it's not actually built. Uh, may actually want to get a little bit more wood as well. I mean, we have tons of laborers, so shouldn't be too bad. Let's go ahead and get that much. Let's go ahead and also, I guess, kind of destroy this forest kind of sad because I mean it's been a while since there's actually trees like covering this entire place so chopping all those down will kind of be sad to see because you you see all the like under what is it it's not like a canopy but the stuff under the leaves that grow oh got another trader let's pause it see what he has ooh olive seeds let's see that was something new on that, was it oil press? And you get olive oil. Which I believe, I believe that's edible. Hmm. I think we're probably going to pass, but do you do, you see, yeah, you got lots of seeds. Let's see, you got hemp seeds or something? I'll take hemp seeds from you. Uh, let's see, what other seeds do I want from you? Uh, you got wheat seeds? I'll take wheat seeds, because we're probably going to want to get some flour. Uh, let's see. Anything else? Probably just those two. If you bring those, I'll be, you know, pretty happy. So, sorry I couldn't do that, but bring those, and I will try my darndest to, to trade those with you. Okay. 
Okay, so hopefully we'll get those seeds soon. And we'll be able to get a fill just for those. Got both those going. I mean, they, they seem to grow fairly quickly. Just when... Well, yeah, these soybeans grow very, very quickly. They're almost ready to harvest. The potatoes, you know, sort of. They're getting there. So... Oh, we also forgot to add farmers. Got to add some more guys to that. So we can hopefully get both these fields done in time. I can take that builder off as well. Let's see, they hit their cab. That's good. Let's see. Oh, that's something we could do. We could probably... Uh, for these orchards. Because I want to move this one over here. We can actually probably put one, like, right here as, like, a break. Because I usually do... I guess for this, we could just do, like, two. Because I like to rotate them. Uh, like, rotate the crops and fields. And probably separating, like, groups by orchards would probably be an interesting idea. Uh, it would at least give me some type of... Uh, idea of what... Or, like, what's actually being separated. So I might do that, just so we can move something else over here. Let's see, orchard, what's that, that's a dense orchard. So let's see, let's go, do you want to do like an eight? Let's see, how wide is that one? It's a seven wide, so let's do an eight wide over here then. Hopefully they get all that before it goes bad. See, eight by twenty-two. There we go. And we'll do another road around it. Oh, there we go. It's like, why is it not going? And we'll do this one. We had a lot of peaches, so let's just do some plums this time. See, they get all their food. Lots of potatoes. Lots of soybeans. Looks pretty good. And we're, oh well we were just above 3,000 there for a second. Go ahead and move those over. Are they ready? Yeah. Let's go ahead and put the extra farmers on that. So now we have three you know, fields for food. Uh, hopefully I mean, hopefully that, that starts growing our, our food production. Finger crossed. So let's see here. No traders come yet. Everybody looks pretty good. Uh, our wood's actually back up. It's, you know, hovering around 500. We still need to get our firewood production. Maybe, because I mean, it seems like they have tons of wood there. So I think it's maybe coming down to they need, just we just need more woodcutters on the job. So let us go ahead and get a couple more of those going. Oh, no, I want it that way. There we go. Let's do one right there. Where's the stockpile for that at? Oh, saving. There we go. Oh, is it three across? I believe so. Then go ahead and get another one right there. Okay. So, got one guy on it. Let's boost that up to six so we get both those going. And we'll put two more woodcutters on it. See if we can actually keep 400 firewood uh, in the upcoming year. With these guys. Okay, so we got. Come on, go ahead and go. There we go. So, y'all should uh, hopefully be able to get that done. Uh, I'll probably keep this, you know, empty down here so we can just expand it downward. Oh, we got another trader. Let's pause it. See who it is. Oh, it's a baker. Wait, the bakery supplier? So you supply stuff for the bakery? 
Or, well, the fruit cake is something that you can make from the bakery, so I guess it's everything to do with the bakery. So let's see here. Fruit cake, I think you can go ahead and eat. I don't know about the other stuff, though. Hmm. Order. Yeah, you can make sugar cookies, which is interesting. Uh. Yeah. Yes, some of the stuff you can actually make into flour. Can't remember if you can make corn into flour, though. I know you can make wheat, and I think the, the sorghum. That, that how do you say that? I don't remember. But we'll probably see about that. Um, I mean, we could probably if if we can't eat this, it'll just stay in our storehouses anyway. So I guess we can go ahead and do that. Let's see, five hundred. That gets four hundred. So let's go do that. We'll go ahead and take all of you and let's see we can do 30 of you and we'll be able to take 500 so we need 400 more oh, what am I pressing? I'm not pressing anything okay 30. No? Or oh, wait, 45. Almost. 50. That's close enough. Okay, so that should be everything that we need. We're getting some food, so go for that. Do I want you to bring anything else? Mm, not really. You can bring whatever. So, thank you very much. Okay, so I think that should be it. I don't know how much I'm actually going to have after that brief interruption. So, I think I'm going to end it here, guys. So, hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. If you have any comments, leave those down below. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, you may want to think about doing that. But, anyway, I hope you have a great day. Hopefully we can get these guys actually making, you know, a pretty decent gain get back up around, you know, 18,000 food or whatever, but we'll see. Anyway, hope you have a great day. I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.